Hello, people who are not me, and welcome back to more Botan Kaidos. I'm Sire Goku. Before we do anything, I want to heal Savina. Because, oh my god, she nearly died. There we go. Much better, there we go. I have so many heal- I have so many shish kebabs, I might as well just use them. Much better. Um, well, we finished the Tower of Juraga. And, well, when we came back to the village, turns out Melodia's been kidnapped. And, surprise, surprise, we were the last group of people to be seen with her, so they think we did it. And so now we've been caught. And now we're kind of trapped in here. Oh well, what can we do? Savina, what do you think we should- it's not all difficult. It's not at all difficult for us to break through this village, but that's not a wise course of action. If we try to force our way out of the village, we'll stir up their suspicions even more. Hey, a little gray thorn. How about you give us a hand here? No. Okay. <laughs> Leud, why are you sitting on a bed made out of candy? You're probably gonna get stuck to it, dude. We'll have to f get out of here to save Lady Melodia, but the problem is how to get out. Isn't there any way to get out, and yet not harm the villagers? Well, uh... Ha! They locked us up in a house made of candy. Why don't we eat our way through? You see a fire... Fierce flame licking through the glass window. Nope. Commercial oven built to bake everything well no matter what you put in. Yay. Powdered sugar is sprinkled all over the sides of the sp of the sponge cake. It's made so well it's hard to believe it's a part of the wall. Is there any way to get out and yet not harm the villagers? I... Uh, guards are posted outside. We can't get out from here. Well... Let's dig our way out. <laughs> Sugar, salt, flour, the, ins the indispensable ingredients for making sweets are in these bottles, and they're all lined up neatly. Yada, yada, yada. We'll have to get out of here and say, Melodia, but how to get out? Okay, I had to talk to... Hey, I think I got it! <laughs> Think about it. This house is made of candy. We can just eat our way out. Just nibble a hole in the wall. <laughs> you know, that's actually... I'm actually glad that Namco decided to do this. <laughs> they actually acknowledge the fact that this area is made out of food. <laughs> then we can crawl out through the hole without being noticed. <laughs> I see. Then we'll be able to get out of here without harming the villagers. It's a very good... See? Great idea, huh? <laughs> so who's gonna make the hole? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just asking who's gonna eat a huge clump of sugar. Well, we don't have to eat it. I mean, Callus has a sword. He could just cut a hole through it. <laughs> um, that's... <laughs> I don't think I should. You know, sweets and girls don't, you know... They're not good for us, girls. <laughs> Thank you, but I too must decline the offer. I was always told not to eat too many sweets when I was a child. Hmm. <laughs> Likewise, I don't hate sweets, but I'm not eating so much sugar. But I'm not into eating so much sugar. <laughs> you can count me out. <laughs> well, whoever thought up this idea should do it, right? <laughs> right, Ibari. <laughs> Kind of regretting your, kind of regretting that, huh? <laughs> Fine. I'll eat it. Just you watched. <sighs> Brock, b -b -b Brock, and he's literally eating it. Oh, I can't eat anymore. <laughs> hey, don't you want to eat this part? Eat just a little, just the edge, please. <laughs> it's not bad for a wall. <laughs> No thanks, you're almost done. Keep on going, Gibari. Dude, why can't we just punch a hole through the wall? It's candy. 
<laughs> oh man, I'm feeling a little sick. <laughs> I can't believe this! You ate the wall? Are you insane? Well, uh... <laughs> What's up, Trill? Did you come to break us out? <laughs> I, um... I believe you guys. Looks like the people who kidnapped Lady Melodia were heading to Picture Book Village. Really? <laughs> if you plan to go after them, use this route, Callus. I'm still planning on making you some sweets, you know, so don't go dying on me. <laughs> Picture Book Village. Um. Alright. Let's go there then, shall we? Oh. Oh my god. Excuse me? You would never stoop so low. Not he, never. He is the judge that confronts and accuses us with his questions. Questions as sharp as a dagger. You sound like somebody from South Park, dude. <laughs> Isn't that why we're here? To stop that from happening? There is no running! There is no hiding! Not from his wrath! This guy's crazy. Welcome to the most out of place town in this entire game. An image of a person's face is wiggling to and fro on a very gaudy rock. You step back. Did she? He just wink at you? Oh my god, this is so creepy. It's Alice in Wonderland times infinity. Oh my god. I don't even know anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. There's no point in talking to them. They say things that no one understands, and when they start dancing, they never stop. I guess it's called releasing stress. No, I think it's called their crop. Why is there just a random hole in- Oh! The fuck? I don't know what's going on. I completely forgot about this town, honestly. <laughs> oh, it's so trippy. I don't know what's going on. First we eat our way out of a freaking house. What is it, young one? You have something to ask this gifted abstract painter? Whoa, young one, are you making fun of me? You'll get in trouble for making fun of old people. No, no, but, uh... You're wearing a bracelet. Would you mind signing this tree? Do I know Quizman? He's my... I'm his ex-wife. Meza, of course I know him. Well, I really don't want to go back just because he told me to. He has to show me some sincerity. Paintings take skill. A gifted person studies hard, paints, and it becomes art. Take me, for example. As a genius, what I paint is only appreciated by those who truly know art. To understand and appreciate art also requires experience and talent. Please, Sinus. You're so persistent. I'm telling you that I'm not going back just because he asked me to. Well, uh, please? Yeah, it's yet another person that we can't really do anything about. Just remember that she's here. We'll get her 
We'll get her signature soon enough. <laughs> uh, okay, I was already here, but oh man, this this, this village, I, I don't know what to say about it. I mean, we got this dragon statue. Uh, we got these weird bug people dancing around. This world consists of infinite fables that foolish people would never understand. And humans are only distant travelers who hide their faces underneath their masks. Everything is just like a fantasy. It goes up and disappears just like a short-lived tune. Okay. I'm scared now. <laughs> Can I go to the church? I don't feel right being here. Do I have any constellations to give you, sir? No, I don't. Sorry, buddy. I thought I had some that I had completely forgotten about. But, uh, let's talk to you. Okay, level up for Gibari. Ah, uh, Shelly, you're a little behind there, little missy. <laughs> you still have more attack power than Gibari. <laughs> Ooh, two levels for Liud. Okay, yeah, you were kind of behind there, buddy, so... Alright, so everyone else here kind of... Okay, everyone's kind of caught up on levels. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm just kind of admiring this place. It's been a while since I've been here. Oh my god! Oh god. Always buy shish kebabs. Uh, Pegasus cloak. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, Milanistry, why not? Buy a silk robe. Oh, I'm buying a brilliant horn for sure. Oh, not enough money for Light Flare level 3. Well, I have pictures to sell. Such as this awesome picture of Magnus Giganticus. <laughs> Full piggy bank for a thousand. Eh, could be better. That's good. Mmm. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Eh. That's enough to get the light flare, so that's all I care about. <laughs> and... May as well rest up and heal. <laughs> just to be safe. I know I leveled up, but still. It's just something I do. Every time I get to an inn, I always use the inn, so. So let's continue exploring this crazy place, shall we? Oh god, it's just. <laughs> I'm not. It's not creepy, it's, just, it's weird. It's. Innovative, that's for sure. I've never seen a place like this in another RPG before, that's for sure. <laughs> but just remember that that woman is there, because she can and will sign the tree for you eventually. For now, though, let's just go over here. I don't get what these villagers are going on about. Uh, they bob around like half-broken wind-up dolls, and then they try to apply their bizarre logic to uh, to everything. Especially the one that's yelling something about Mel Percio. He's really weird. If I wasn't here on business, I would never have come here. 
This chest looks like it came straight out of a psychedelic painting. There's something lodged underneath it. <laughs> and we get a monolith pen. Yay! Monolith has their own. And a tricrescendo pen. Yay! Monolith and tricrescendo like to make mention to themselves. Hooray! <laughs> Humans, if you want to know yourselves, go to the hidden house of the fortune teller. No, thou must go. Offer me the mirage weed. Thus it shall be a clue to know thyself. Ah, oh, I need a mirage weed. I completely forgot you needed one of those. Uh, okay, so I'll be right back if this jerk would get out of my way here. Actually, I don't even need to cut, because it's literally right here. So, let's get a Mirage Weed. <laughs> I completely for- Now we actually do need that. I. That's why I decided not to get it right away, because but if I had gotten it right before going through the dungeon, it definitely would have disappeared within the half hour, so there was no point in me to get it. But since it's right there... Now for my favorite section of this village! I just love this scene. Just, wa just wait and see what happens. <laughs> Here's your mirage weed, sir. I'll open the path to the one who knows thee, as thou hast offered this mirage weed. Yeah, <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> I have no idea what, but hey, now we can go to the left here. <laughs> Don't question it. And this woman's desk has eyes. This is strange. This young man here, I feel no madness within him. Excuse me? Just an empty and lonely darkness. What do you mean, no madness? Couldn't be. Wait, there's a card inside me? <laughs> every life form, every tangible object in this universe has its own unique Magnus. Huh. He shouldn't be able to exist if he doesn't have one. Okay. Then it must mean he is not of this world. Wait, Callus is an alien? That's ridiculous. You're saying I'm a monster or something? <laughs> Spare me the dime store fortune telling. <laughs> yeah, for once I actually kind of agree with Callus getting out, bent out of shape. I mean, all he all we did was walk into this tent and suddenly this fortune teller is like, Oh, by the way, you're not a human. <laughs> hmm. So you don't believe my words? Not that I blame you. How a face looks depends on the eyes of he who sees. How a voice sounds depends on the ears of she who hears. Okay. Someday you will know who you really are. Yay, another callback to the introduction. That was really kind of messed up. Of Lady Melodia. 
Huh? Oh crap. Nope. Nothing. Can't find her anywhere. I heard the strangers who kidnapped her were caught in Panas, though. You know if that's credible? No idea. Either way, there's no sign of a lady at this point. Hey, listen up! I heard that a group of strangers entered the Shrine of Spirits. Supposedly, a couple of villagers saw them. One of them seemed to be a young girl wearing a hood. Are you sure? A girl with a hood. Yes! We should get down to that shrine on the double. Let's split up and search for the lady on the right. Right. The strangers with this girl of theirs must be Giacomo and his goons. Let's head for the Shrine of Spirits.